spring temperatures uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, taking a break, got confused, whatever. No, they took a little vacation. They're, they're vacation. coming back. They're, That's right. they're coming back, Dana. By the time we get to next week, I think some folks are going to be 80 degrees. So that'll be something to look forward to. But right now, you know, what Dana's hinting at is the cold air that took, uh, it took hold of the entire area. It's still got a grip on the city. Current temperature comes in at 47. All right, but with the winds, I mean, they're gusting at 32 miles per hour at times. 47 is made to feel like 44. And wherever you are right now, your temperatures feel colder than the actual thermometer reading. It's 34 in Monticello, 45 Poughkeepsie, 48 Brick. You're 45 in the Hamptons. But everyone feels maybe 4 or 8 degrees colder. Watch this. That's the wind chill right now. It feels like 25 in Monticello, feeling like 38 for the Hamptons, 38 also Poughkeepsie, 42 Brick, 42 also in Edison, feeling like 35 in White Plains. Well, tomorrow morning, the winds are still with us. Now, they're not going to be as strong, but enough of a wind chill that 40 will feel like you're in the 30s in New York City. You got a, you know, a pretty decent start out there in terms of sunshine, but it is cold. The good news is it's been about a 30, it will end up being about a 36 hour cold snap because by tomorrow afternoon, you'll basically be done with it. But the morning is where that freeze warning is in place. The afternoon is where you're above average by about a degree or two. 63 is the average. We're going to forecast 64. Abundant sunshine. It's just breezy, milder out there. Now, the breezes are still blowing, but like I said, not quite as strong. By the time you get to Saturday, the breezes are not an issue at all. Sunday, this could be an issue. A couple of systems are going to team up becoming sort of a line of water that will move into the area and could give us anywhere from, you know, a half an inch in some spots to maybe uh, an inch and a half in other spots. So here it comes. More clouds will build Saturday. Wet weather for your day on Sunday at times, and it's out of here by Sunday night. Monday looks good, and then we're off to the races with those temperatures that I was hinting at. Watch this. We're going to go for a high temperature of 64 on Friday. So it's a cold start, but a pretty decent afternoon. By Saturday, 69. That's pretty good. It's the warmer half of the weekend. You will definitely find some clouds filtering in for your afternoon hours. Sunday, those clouds will lead to some wet weather. It's 62, 64 Monday, and then that horse starts to gallop. 70 on Tuesday, 76 Wednesday, 77 on Thursday. Some inland areas, I feel pretty confident we'll find some 80-degree readings next week. Dana, that's my seven days. It's all yours. We like your confidence. Thanks.